So, 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 welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. Today, I want to showcase a strat with a build, which I think will help you take down that foe, that notorious foe, which has been bullying you probably for the last three hours. Hopefully, he goes down within the next 10 minutes with this awesome, awesome, very effective build. The one thing you truly need to make this work is all those items. You know, and more importantly, the fan. The fan is the way you break his shield, which prevents you from staggering him. And whenever the shield is up, he is going to knock you back whenever you try to combo him. It really sucks. So, I'm going to tell you as the fight goes on what to do and what not to do. It's going to be difficult to speak as we fight, but we will try to make this work. When the fight starts, he will almost always throw his spear into the air. It is a grab, you need to dash forward to dodge it and don't try to cast the fan right now. We need to find a window when he's done with the combo. So we okay, we dash forward, he goes behind us, it's still a grab, we dash forward again, we wait for the swing, boom. This is when we want to stop to actually summon our fan and deal some damage. While he's getting pushed back, we do this and we summon our snakes. Hopefully, by the time the tornado is out and he's poisoned, he's going to go into phase 2. We can actually make this go faster by stopping him and just like this, we are in phase 2. That was awesome. I feel proud of myself for doing this, honestly, but this is where things get rough. Not here, when he summons this gigantic axe that you avoid by dashing right down and jumping. And getting hit by that is completely fine, but here's the thing, in phase 2, he tends to be more um, he tends to be more annoying when it comes to dodging your attack. So you need to wait for the perfect opportunity, either way, I mean, if you don't do that, he's going to just, uh, you know, avoid your attacks and that just sucks. So as you can see, he's just going crazy right now, going crazy, doing like 10 seconds, 10 minutes combos, we dash away, we use class step, and bang, we knock him down. We're working on that shield. Completely fine again. When that happens, when that, he summons the big shock wave, this is when he tends to just go crazy for like 20 seconds long combos. This is why I transform to work on the shield. But again, in phase 2, he will not stop attacking. Especially when he has a shield up like that. Work on the shield, I'm working on the shield, bang, ooh, the shield is out, I repeat, the shield is out, and right now we just need to work on, on his health to go into phase 3, good, which should happen right now. In phase 3, he's going to first summon those beams, which are fairly easy to dodge if you don't suck like me, I mean, hopefully I won't get hit today, oh, so far so good, uh... Oh, I was able to do it flawlessly. Now, when he does that, he's going to throw some knives, we summon rings of uh, fire, we do this, and last second we dodge away, only to perform this, boom, he dodges it, always. I don't know how he can see you, even though we have clowns dead. This guy is such a cheater, like such a cheater. Now, he's going to go crazy for like two hours again, and it's very annoying, as always. But right now I'm thinking about healing, even though I have full health, almost full health, because I want my fan back. We are in phase, um, we are in phase three, so there is no need to save um, our health. We just need to deal big boy damage as soon as we can. He's going to dodge it. Oh no, we were shot. We use the fan. We use the snakes. We pop a potion. I mean the pill. And this is where things become very serious. We're going gamer mode and dealing an unreasonable amount of damage in a very short time. Oh my god, this is... He's going to most likely get his shield back, which is what we want because... Oh my god, the damage though. Oh my god, dodge it. Oh no, he didn't dodge it. Get the shield, get the shield. Nice. So, we cast Ring of Fire one more time. We cast... Um, cloud step and now we start drinking. Drink like your life is on the line. Just keep drinking. Cast the fan. <laughs> Just like that. Drink one more time. 
get the snakes prepare the attack for when his shield is down and stay hasta la vista baby and boom oh my god that was flawless i mean not flawless but this is what happens when everything goes your way and when you have the right tools at your disposal that was epic and hopefully this can show you how when whenever you are prepared for fighting this game you can make them fairly easy not like I, I wouldn't say that it takes away the difficulty because he can still kill you if you get the wrong train and if you don't time your casting uh, efficiently you can tell that i was making sure not to cast anything when he was uh with the shield which is when he's the most dangerous because you can basically not stop him when he is starting to throw hand Woo! that was epic now i feel like i need to go back and explain the choices i made for this build especially when it comes to choosing ring on fire over immobilize which is a very very strong even like stronger perk stronger spell compared to um compared to immobilize i'm mean, compared to ring of fire i mean let's go let's talk about the build now i get to talk about the build and like i said the choices i made starting with ring of fire you're going to notice that ring of fire is going to heal me but also give me some focus all the time it's also going to increase significantly my stamina bar which means i can stay perched and prepare my attack um in safety because most of the attack our line is going to perform are going to be down there so as long as you can stay perched like this with such a massive stamina bar you can just hit him when he is done um when he's done jumping around like a rabbit which is great also you may say wait cloud step is not as great as rock solid and i will say yes you're right but i feel like um, pairing in this fight is very tedious because he tends to just roll around, jump, and you never know when exactly it is your, I mean, is it the right moment to perform the parry. So he may just o open you up for like a, a massive combo, which is why I prefer using Cloud Step, which can allow me to cast my fan just like this. And also turn back into my spirit and get my, my snakes. So. Just like that, I was able to do two, I was able to do two things, which may lead into the guy losing his shield and opening him up. Just like that, you will not get that with Rock Solid because chances are, even if you perform a good berry, a the boss may be staggered and you perform like two attacks before he recovers, or b you may perform the parry and he just ignores you and keeps going. That was a waste of a parry. There you go. Um, I still feel like I feel like overall Cloud Step is always better. The the, the thingy, the, the spell cooldown is great. Already recovering from that, especially if you hit the boss with it, you recover even faster. So when it comes to transformations, I feel like it doesn't really matter. I just prefer the monkey because he is crazy strong and he's crazy fast. He swings whenever he, he you are being transformed and yeah he can actually jump around and dodge the attack the boss performs whenever you awaken his ability to chill people i mean to froze people personally i would not use a black of many in this fight i feel like it is a waste of mana and i feel like it just prevents you from using all the spells so right now you used a black of many and chances are you won't be able to cast uh, an additional cloud step or another ring of fire and i think like, i feel like given what you can get from those two spells it's just not worth it to use um, the duplicate spell also the very long cooldown is not ideal so i would say it's quite unfortunate that we don't get another spell for like r2x on console but yeah maybe in the future we might but we have another we have alternatives for like every other spell but a pluck of many which sucks anyway when it comes to our spirit i feel like this one is very good mostly because you can deal some damage over time like i said and you can stagger the boss sometimes when the shield is down and again it's all about the stagger and the damage over time you can use pretty much anything else especially the the old guy non-void i love this guy allows you to just let me show you to just get away and whenever you are getting away you are intangible means you cannot get damaged 
and you can it can lead you to some combos like like dodging i mean doing this and you know preparing for another strike but like i said in phase two from phase two till the end of the fight he tends to just dodge everything you do especially the heavy so it's very difficult to land a heavy which is why i tend to go into the pill stance so yeah you should get the pillar stance and reduce the cost it takes to like build up the focus while perched and whenever he's open and swinging you just interrupt him bam there you go what else what else what else okay let's talk about my actual gear i'm using the gene boom bang <laughs> i love the name of this weapon gene goo bang okay the reason why is because i tend to build a lot of focus and i just want to make sure that i don't lose my focus over time especially the big boy damage so you can use anything else honestly especially um i don't know I feel like this is the best option you would have at this point because it deals the most damage. So, King Boom Bang it is. Uh, when it comes to my armor set, I'm using the Bull King's armor set. I think you can get every single piece on your first playthrough. If you don't, it's completely fine because you won't be using every single piece. Uh, because the fourth set bonus is to disable, <laughs> it disables your perfect dodges and I think that's very bad. So I tend to just use anything else for my second, um, for my armor. And I went with the gold shiozi, I think that's how it's pronounced, if I'm mispronouncing, excuse me. <laughs> and we get 120 defense and an additional 30 maximum health, which can always come in handy. We've never been in a situation where we need to, like, um, when our health is low, is that low? But it can happen and the extra health can help so besides that i don't think there's anything else which is relevant gear wise maybe we need to talk about um our i don't know how to call them our curious yes okay i have the tiger tally to increase my attack whenever i'm landing some light combos i have this the gold button to increase our damage significantly when we have full health i think this is very good because we'll be healing a lot to replenish our chi so just are uh, nine times out of ten we're always going to be we're always going to be at full health so this is very beneficial for the, like throughout the entirety of the fight we also have this to slightly reduce the cooldown of our spells because we need to rely on cloud step and ring of fire a lot so this definitely helps and last but not least the amber prayer beads to build up the focus even more to be able to stagger and uh, deal big boy damage whenever we can i feel like i've talked about all the things you need um when it comes to your gear now let's talk about the radix i would say this is new game plus but if i if this was my first playthrough i would choose this uh, first to contact to actually increase the damage of our light attacks i'll also increase um my invincibility whenever i'm performing a very combo if you don't know what a very combo is it's quite simple whenever you press triangle during a, a light attack combo this is what happens you actually perform a very combo so extending your So when it comes to the next relic, I would say go for in one breath. The reason why I would say to go for that as opposed to lingering aroma, which could be even better, is because I get more uses out of um, my ring of fire because I'm using Jin Boom Bang. I can cast, I can um, build up to four focus points when I'm standing in the circle. And whenever I'm using the pillar stance, I can make sure that the next attack is going to be very damaging to the boss and most likely just interrupt whatever he is doing. So when it comes to, I think you get this one after this chapter is over or maybe you went all the way through. So, and when it comes to the envious tongue, I would say go for the tongue of a connoisseur. The reason why is because I am using uh, 
a drink which has multiple sockets. I think it's up to three. So depending on how many socks you have, you'll be able to heal pretty substantially. So I would say go for this one or go for refreshing taste. Spider World is great if you are facing multiple people, but we're not using Immobilize. Like I said before, it's unreliable and it's most likely going to get you killed. <laughs> When it comes to the last relic you're going to get before the game plus, I would say go for Divine Safeguard. It's going to considerably increase your fall beam resistance. And I'm going to share again a little secret in case you didn't watch my previous video. Whenever you actually get past 100 when it comes to your beam resistance, you're going to see that right now when it comes to my beam resistance, I have 100 in shock resistance the reason why is because 100 in this game as of right now is the threshold and past that threshold you cannot get afflicted by those banes you cannot get frozen burned poisoned or shocked which is why throughout the fight you're going to notice that he was not able to get me shocked even though he was hitting me with his thingy so i would say depending on the the encounter Depending on the boss, if for example there was a, uh, a boss which uses fire, I would have put my burn resistance all the way to 100, that way I cannot get burned. I feel like we've talked about pretty much everything but the skills. Now when it comes to my skills, I would say um, always prioritize mana, that way you can always be casting more spells. Health is very secondary. You will get plenty of means to increase your, your health throughout the game. Also increase your critical chance, increase your defense, increase your critical damage, and increase your forbidden resistance. That way you can get it all the way to 100. Increase your attack if you can. But more importantly, I will say the smash stance is very good to parry from attacks, but if you don't have the skill points, stick to the pillar stance and the thrust stance. The pillar stance is very good whenever you are in the circle. And the thrust stance is really good if you want to spend one focus point at a time because whenever you use a pillar stance, it's quite a long commitment and this is that you're going to miss because the boss move around a lot. When it comes to our ring of fire, I would say increase everything but this, boundless blessings. The reason why I don't want to go for this is because it's going to increase our, our mana consumption by a lot and I like that. Same applies to Cloud Step. I think you can go for everything here. Yeah, I think it doesn't. There's nothing which is going to increase. Uh, I think maybe you don't want to do this. You don't want to get the last one, and it's going to make it so that you can cast your Cloud Step more often. When it comes to our transformation, by the way, those apply to you. Those ten skills right here apply to you. And only the one on the bottom applied to your transformation, your vessel. So I would go for, uh, I went for poison damage, but see, mostly because I'm using the snakes. But I'll say the priority here is to increase your defense, is to increase your damage post perfect dodge, to increase your invincibility. Uh, invincibility while you are seeing through the enemy, which is to dodge uh, using uh, a heavy attack while performing your variant combo, always upgrade this because it gives you, I think, 15 in every single attribute for being resistant. And before I forget something very, very important for this build to work, this is a sunset of the Nine Skies drink. Upon drinking, it's going to grant you a considerable amount of chi, and chi is the resource you get. Uh, which allows you to use your spirit and, more importantly, your fan. Without this strength, I don't think this build is going to work or not work as effectively. When it comes to our socks, I have the turtle here, which is going to give me some mana. Just a tiny bit every single time I heal while being at full health. And I already said before that I will be at full health most of the time, so... You can give you can give yourself enough mana to be able to summon another ring of fire or cast um, cloud step one more time. So this is not in vain. Iron pellet is very important because you will be able to heal without being interrupted, which is very important because we want to um, heal as much as possible to be able to get as much key as possible. 
Also, the purple vein beach beat. That's a mouthful. Massively increase health recovery. And so just in case our health gets all the way down, we're going to get almost all of it back, which is very good. So I don't think you need anything besides those. I would say maybe go for damage reduction if you get hit a lot. And that's pretty much it. That's the build. And I think it works very, very well. Oh, the bills. I didn't use multiple bills. Oh, actually, I don't think I used any bills throughout the fight. But the bills are crazy strong in this game. You have bills for everything but mana. You don't have anything to replenish your mana, which sucks. But this bill, for example, is crazy strong. If you wait for the perfect window to, to use it, while well, let's say your your tornado is up and your snakes are up, you can deal an unreasonable amount of damage really really fast to the boss. So I would say use your pills. If you run out, just travel back to that one place where you can get more pills and just start cooking. Honestly, this is a very fair fight if you have the right tools. It's very unfair if you are unprepared. It's going to demolish you multiple times in a row. It's all about strategy. It's all about how you approach the fight. And hopefully with this build, uh, you'll be able to, to get there. That said, I feel like there is still some room for improvement. Um, yeah, I just don't like using, I just don't like using Immobilize because it is so unreliable. But thankfully, this works for you. I'll see you soon. Have a good day, night. Bye-bye.